In this video, we will present you a demonstration of Nanotron's virtual fencing system. In particular, we will focus on topics regarding features and operation. The graph on the left side depicts a typical setup. Six fixed anchors, A1 to A6, are freely distributed in the shown area. The mobile tag ranges with the anchors in order to compute its position. Additionally, a virtual boundary is set around an object, which could be a building or something else. The boundary has the form of a polygon and is defined by its boundary points. Whenever the tag crosses the boundary, an alarm event is triggered. Thus, the system provides information on tag positions as well as boundary crossing events in real time. For our demonstration, we chose an area in a mainly natural environment. Many hedges and trees are present. In the middle we see a triangular green area with one big tree and some boulders on it, which is surrounded by unpaved paths. A tall fence bounds the area on the right hand side. Obviously its material consists of a lot of metal. All in all, the chosen area is not an ideal RF environment. Nevertheless, the following tests will verify the proper operation of Nanotron's virtual fencing system, even under the shown adverse conditions. First, we start with the system setup by placing the anchor nodes. Since the devices are put on existing objects in the environment like branches, the procedure takes only little time. The label next to the anchor indicates the anchor ID. A blinking red LED signals that the device is powered up and ready to use. For our demonstration, one anchor consists of two small devices, the so-called nanotags. Originally, they were built to be used as tags. However, the anchor function can also be provided by tag devices in the virtual fencing system. Hence, the nanotags were chosen due to their small form factor and ease of use. The second device per anchor represents the second antenna that a single anchor device could have in order to make use of antenna diversity for improved ranging performance. In a real product, the functionality would be integrated into one device, of course. A3 is placed at the metal fence. The same is done with A4. A5 and A6 are placed on the opposite side of the fence. Now we are going to mark the virtual boundary, which we will use later on in the demo. For this purpose we put a numbered flag at each boundary point position.
In total 6 boundary points will be used to confine the chosen area. Before the tech localization can start, the anchor positions need to be determined. In Nanotron's virtual fencing system, the anchors are self-localized. This means ranging measurements between anchors are used to compute anchor positions automatically. Related measurements and computations are performed by the tag. Here we see the tag, which is emulated using an STM32 Prima 2 device equipped with an RF daughter board. By looking at the LCD, we can follow the ranging measurement procedure between the anchors. The graph illustrates the computed anchor positions and it suggests that the results match the real positions. Consequently, anchor self-localization provides an easy and convenient way to determine anchor positions. Having computed anchor positions, it's now possible to proceed with tag localization. With the next experiment, we will check how well tag and anchor localization work in the chosen scenario. The walk starts at A1 and all further anchors are passed sequentially. While walking, the tag ranges with the anchors in order to compute its position. By comparing the real-time plot of computed tag positions on the left side with the video on the right side, it is obvious that the tag is accurately tracked. Next, we will demonstrate the boundary function. To that end, we first use the tag to set a boundary point at the previously marked positions. At each boundary flag, the distances to the anchors are measured. After completing the measurements at all six flags, the tag computes the boundary point positions and constructs the boundary polygon. The plot displays the results of the computation. In the next experiment we will test the boundary function with a moving tag. Boundary segment B4-B5 is next to the anchors A4 and A5. While the video shows the tag being moved perpendicular to the boundary segment, the real-time plot shows the computed tag positions. A blue cross is displayed if the tag is detected inside and a red cross if outside the boundary. Following the movement it is obvious that the boundary transition occurs right upon crossing the boundary line marked with the flags. Moreover, 
The plot of the complete trace suggests that the boundary function works consistently even after multiple runs. We repeat the previous experiment at boundary segment B1, B2. Again, we see that the boundary crossings are accurately and consistently detected. Here is a short summary of what we presented today. We demonstrated Nanotron's virtual fencing system in a challenging RF environment. The test showed that the system setup procedure is very easy and takes only little time. This is not least due to the anchor self-localization feature, which enables quick and automatic computation of fixed anchor nodes. Besides, the system's usability is further increased by small form factor devices. As has become clear by the video recorded tests, Nanotron's virtual fencing system provides accurate and consistent tag localization and boundary alarms. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding our virtual fencing system, please contact us at sales at nanotron.com.